hey BMS, a few of our teachers wanted to put some of their most favorite summer activities together for you. We hope you guys are doing well and we miss you so much. We hope you're safe and happy and we can't wait to see you again this fall. Happy summer. Hey everybody, Coach Woodring here. I was getting set up for the summer. Thought I'd throw out some of my outdoor games uh, that you guys might enjoy. Uh, the first one that I usually play a lot of uh, with family and friends is some cornhole. And the second one that I used to do a lot of travel with, uh, kind of easy, quick game to set up. And that is just washers. Uh, Hope everybody is safe this summer. Uh, if you get time to get outside, then go out, play with your family, uh, do things with your friends. It's a good way to social distance and have a fun, little fun. Let's see if Coach Woodring still got it here. Oh yeah, of course, right in the hole. Got my cornhole set up here. Perfect, as always. I uh, hope to see everybody back in the fall. Make sure you get uh, get outside and enjoy some time with your family and friends this summer. And I'll be looking for all those challenges in cornhole and washers. See ya. Hey guys, Mrs. Jacoby here. Uh, I am going to show you something today that you can do um, for just a buck or two um, if you're bored this summer. Um, all you're going to need is some uh, like painter's tape and a little bit of chalk. Um, and then you are going to make some chalk art. So uh, you can make it into whatever shape you, you want. I'm gonna show you some clips right now of my kids doing this. Um, we did a um, square and then they just went to town on whatever kind of design they wanted to do from there. Of course, mom made them do certain shapes and ask them to do triangles and try to make a trapezoid and stuff like that. But um, you can be creative and do whatever you want. So I'll show you some clips that you can do and then you take up the tape when you're done and there's a really cool design left. So have a good summer. We miss you guys. We can't wait to see you again. Take care. Hey guys, this is Ms. Gass, and this is a video of my family and I playing outdoor water pong. Enjoy! I think they do. Are we good? Hey guys, it's Mrs. Wright. I'm going to show you how to use, go out and find simple objects that you have around the house, outside, and do a fun kind of game or art project. So I've gone out and I found some leaves, and all you need is a piece of notebook paper, some crayons, or colored pencils, and here we go. So here's my leaf, and on a leaf you're going to see that there's a side that the veins are popping out more on. That's the side that you want. Um, up. You're going to put it on the table, put your notebook paper on top of it, and then hold that object kind of tight, and then you simply go over it with your crayon or your colored pencil, and there you go. You have your object. Um, you could easily do a game, so I could take this and take it to one of my kids and say, hey, can you guess what this is? I have quarters, I have puzzle pieces, I have necklaces. You can go out and find any kind of pattern that you think would be a cool thing to kind of go over and see if people can guess what it is. 
Have a safe summer. Miss everybody and be safe. Hey guys, it's Mr. Van Winkle. Um, if you guys need something to do this summer, um, we as a family, we like to do what? Fossils. Hunt fossils. Hunt fossils. Okay. So go to Creek anywhere. You can find a lot of good fossils in the Shown Fin. A good fossil. Yep. So this summer, you guys be safe. When the weather's up nice, get out and have fun. There's a bunch of fossils. See, there's like one million of these. See? This is a great activity, guys. Get out, get outdoors and have some fun. Be safe. Hi boys and girls, Mrs. Burian here, and I've got some helpers with me. My daughter Molly, my daughter Hannah, and today we'd like to share with you a fun activity that you can do sometime in this spring or summer for the fun of it. Um, and what we're going to show you today is how to make art out of found objects found in nature. So in a moment, we're gonna go on a nature walk. I'm bringing with me a bucket, and maybe if you have pruning shears or just a pair of scissors, that would help too. And we're just gonna explore and find all kinds of things outside that we can use to make a picture with. Here we are on our nature walk. Molly's got a bucket. Can I see your bucket? And I've got all kinds of things that we picked along the way. Here we are back at the house and here are the things that we collected. So we went on our nature walk and we found objects and materials that we thought were interesting. Um, as far as turning these into a picture now, you might want to think when you're on your walk about the word contrast. That I wanted to contrast colors. I wanted to contrast maybe textures. I have some things that are very textured and delicate and then I have some things that are less delicate. Um, contrast in size as well. I've got large leaves. I've got small leaves. I've got contrast in um, texture here and color. And now what I'm going to do is start to combine these objects into some sort of image. After sorting through my items from our nature walk, I created three compositions. Here's the first one. Here's the second one. And here's the third one. And my theme here was balance. So what I did in the first composition is I created radial balance where I have a center point and I have designs coming from that center point outward in rays. In the second one, my theme was symmetrical balance, where I have a line of symmetry down the middle and two mirrored halves. You can see it makes a face because faces and our actually whole body has symmetrical balance. And then my third composition is an example of asymmetrical balance, A meaning not. So you can't divide this one down the middle and have two equal halves. But what it does have is an area of interest on one air, one side in this case and an area of interest on the other side in this case. But they cannot be divided equally in half, but they still balance themselves out. So this is my take on found objects from nature and creating art from found objects. I hope you enjoyed, boys and girls, and I also hope you have a wonderful summer. Hello everyone, we're out here on a walk. It's kind of gross outside today, so we made sure we wore long sleeves and bundled up the babies, if you can see them. Um, but over the summer, if you are running out of things to do, 
a walk is a pretty good idea. We like to walk around a neighborhood or sometimes I just watch my watch for, you know, about 15 minutes, walk one way and then turn around and walk the other. Um, sometimes we decide to walk to a certain place and see how long it takes us to get there. Um, sometimes we find friends to walk with. Um, sometimes we just go by ourselves, Caroline and I, um, or with other friends and family. Um, we like to sometimes make a game out of our walks and look for birds and dogs. What's a dog say, guys? Say it one more time. What's a dog say? Oof. Yeah, that's Caroline's favorite thing is watching and listening for dogs. If they start barking, she'll bark along with them. We gotta make sure we have snacks for the babies. They like puffs. And I normally take some water with me, especially if it's gonna be a hot day. But if you run out of things to do this summer or just need to get out of the house, a walk is an easy thing to do. Just try to stay either on the left side of the road or stick to a sidewalk. So be safe, make sure you still wash your hands, and I hope to see you soon. Bye!